we got uh, quite a few pictures already from the um, ongoing destruction in the city, the tragedy that is taking place inside of the city of Grindavik. You see this house in Everhop neighborhood went completely on fire, is completely destroyed by the lava. There was some house here in construction a bit further. Quite a few houses have been in construction in the area uh, which are likely to be destroyed as well. Some materials were brought in as you see here. Let's take the next looks at the next picture. You see here is lava is going through Everhop uh, Street um, in Everhop neighborhood uh, of Grindavik, uh, the north uh, eastern part of the city. Uh, the fish is uh, here to the right. 200 meters to the right and it went down and then to the um, to the east uh, along the street of Everhop. Somebody left the cars as you see. People left their cars inside the city. They didn't remove them. I don't understand why we could you, when you could just sit down and drive away. Why to leave the car in the city when there is a potential of volcanic eruption and not even bother to take it. Perhaps they want to get money from the insurance, I don't know. But let's take a look at the next picture. Yeah, this is uh, the same basically, but more in, of, in a daylight. Uh, here, lava is going along the Everhop Street. This house went on fire. This house, there was another one here. This one was burned. There's another burning. And most of the lava is going in between the houses area here straight down in the lava river and let's take a look at the next picture yeah here you can see how lava is going through the city uh, there's a stadium here stadium of Grindavik Greenfield and the houses are getting destroyed uh, soon lava will re-hit those houses quite a number of them one two three uh, four five six seven like some ten houses here um, a bit further south uh, and then there is uh, another stadium here so there is some apartment house a block house looks like a bit bigger one but there are quite a few houses here in Evra Hope neighborhood but by the morning there might come so much lava that all this neighborhood might be destroyed you know in just a few hours uh, next picture yeah, here you see the same, basically, uh, this lava is going, there is some kind of shallow valley here, in between those houses, and then you have a road with cracks here to the left side, and then a bit further you have a stadium, so those houses are on fire. And here, this is how eruption started, uh, it's seen from Grindavik, uh, lava is... Uh, now we had the new fissure opening up here along the same line. See along the same line here. Uh, this neighborhood is called Avra Hop. Avra Hop neighborhood. The northeastern neighborhood of Grindavik and Lava went here between the houses. You see right between the houses here. And we'll flood this valley here. This kind of stadium here. This is a real stadium of Grindavik. But there is another one, small one. Greenfield here. So lava is going down here and will hit the ocean probably even in the night if there is enough magma coming, very likely. And then the, the, the lava also went from the from the upper fissure. You you can you can see here the new fissure. There is another one here now, but from the upper fissure it went here to the left side and it kind of spilled about the fence, about the lava berm where you have the asphalt road, Grindavik road, and it started going by Grindavik road somewhat, but it cooled it down, it didn't go very far and it kept going along the uh, along the uh, lava river along the, uh, along the lava wall further um, west along the uh, Fiat volcano here and they keep building the more walls here uh, uh, to the west machinery is working, so this is how the situation looks in as I told, there is a possibility this eruption might go for some while, for a while. All the best greetings from Iceland and my thoughts and uh, uh, concerns or condolences are with, with the residents of the city of Grindavik. I wish them 
this will I wish of course first of all this will come to stop and I pray for this to God in but I wish them strength and hope in this very hard situation so now I'll show you on the map where the lava is going and which houses are being destroyed by the lava in which neighborhood so here you see the city of Grindavik uh, the current eruption is here east of Hagafat Mountain, slightly to the southeast. And there is another fissure uh, just no here north of the city. So we will zoom in. There you see lava fields from 2021 to the right. So we will zoom in and we will take a look where the lava is going. So here you see this neighborhood of Avrahop, those houses here. And this is outdated picture from satellites because those houses had been already built, I think, some of them, or maybe they are still under construction, not sure, but anyway, the first house which got burned was this one, here uh, at the top uh, left, and then this house also went to high, those two houses also went on fire in this area, and uh, Lava is running this street here, you see? Uh, this Avrahop Street, it's running um, to the right side here, to the east, and it's also going here in between this field towards this roundabout here that I used to drive when I was going from Torlacho to the airport. I was bypassing the city by this road. I was using this road very often, and it's going down here. You see Lake Vaklur. Uh, it's a playground, kindergarten probably. And here you see the stadium of Grindavik. So lava is going here in between the houses down by the river. The lava river is going like this between the houses. And we will hit this area very soon probably. Already those houses are burning here uh, in the middle of Grindavik. And uh, then the campsite is on the way and then the ocean. It might make it to, to the ocean by the morning so many houses might get destroyed by the morning because the eruption is likely to to go on for some time and nothing is done to stop the lava flow from going into the city and so this neighborhood is being destroyed by the lava here to the northeast and probably some houses on this side got destroyed but lava is moving this way here towards this green field and campsite down to the ocean. 